Recently, we dropped a video talking about Joe Biden during his State of the Union address. Some of the things in which he said actually condemned his own policies. At one point, he basically says the, the illegal aliens, they're unalaving people. And then he tried to act like he wasn't the ones that brought him here. So I'm going to show you a quick clip. I want you to watch the dude in back of him. And then I'm going to come back from a commentary. BB in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, <laughs> yo, sometimes I've just been. I'm not. I I I I don't know what the. I don't know how to say this. I've been correct about so many of these different political situations that at this point, I think people should really be concerned that when I go to sleep, God is putting the future in my head. I, I don't really think that's what's happening. I think that you just have to pay attention to what's going on and you understand that Joe Biden might be out of his mind. Okay. So I want to be clear on something. I don't think you have to be uh, a prognosticator. To understand that the way that they're running this uh, administration right now is just not pragmatic. The things in which they're doing hurt the American people. And every single time I hear a Democrat talk about politics, they never talk about how his policies are hurting people. All they want to do is talk about Trump. So you know what people do when they're wrong? They deflect. So I'm under the in incredible impression that most Democrats, at least the ones I've come in contact with, actually know that voting Democrat is a bad idea. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to explain to themselves, not me, why they would do something so foolish, even though Democrats do zero to help us. Now, if you look at the dude in back of Joe Biden, and if, if we can show Kamala Harris... <laughs> She's over there just smiling away. She's like, I got these pearly whites and I'm going to show them to you because I don't got nothing going on up top, sis. So, also, a whole different random other question. Um, I constantly hear people say that if a black man isn't married to a black woman, that they cannot be pro-black. I want to understand why a white woman could be married to a a black woman, part of me, could be married to a white man and still be pro-black. Now, I don't really care who you're married to. If you're pro-black, you're pro-black. So I personally think that you could be married to damn uh, anyone in the world. But if you're pro your people, you could still be pro your people. You don't have to marry somebody that is necessarily black or whatever religion or part of me, whatever uh, uh, religion also, but whatever uh, the ethnicity that you belong to, I believe you could be pro your eth ethnicity, but the person you met in life that resonates with you just doesn't have to be part of your ethnicity or even your religion for that mind. So I just want to say that because I don't want it to sound like I'm attacking people. I just think that we live, we are living in a world right now where women are just able to be governed by different rules than men. And it's not fair unless you allow for men to be men. See, when men can't be men, then it's unfair. But if we're allowed to be men, it's fair as shit. With that being said, Joe Biden's policies is hurting America at a great degree. If you want to just, I'll just go over one right now. Y'all do know when you're a sanctuary city, sanctuary cities are not even really allowed to arrest migrants. That's why the migrants are doing everything that they're doing. The migrants know that they can't be arrested. They know it. They're being told this as they're coming into the country. Also, also, before the migrants got here, we had a problem with population. So I want to know why in one moment the Democrats is talking about how we have a population issue. And we, that's what they were saying, right? And then in the very next moment, they decide to overpopulate an already overpopulated area as far as America. And not just that, but some of the most populated places 
in America would be what? The Los Angeleses of the world, the San Francisco's of the world, right? The Chicago's of the world, right? The New York's of the world, New York City's of the world, right? And where do they send all of the migrants? To the most populated places. That's one. Two, another thing that y'all might not know is people in New York City, they're losing all of their resources. All of their resources. Because the resources now have to be allocated to migrants. You want to know why the homeless people are going crazy on the train more than usual? It's because now the tiny bit of resources that they were getting from this from the city or the state, they're now being allocated to the migrants. So you're a homeless dude that could probably get two meals a day, one meal a day if, you, if you're fortunate. Now you're probably getting three, four meals a week. You had places to go when it got cold, when it was raining, to get away from the weather. But now there isn't anywhere. They're literally kicking homeless people out of shelters to put migrants in there. The Democrats are doing that. Every single time I hear a, somebody say they do, they're not going to vote Republican because Republicans are racist, I look at them and say, well, the Democrats are doing the actual racist shit. Excuse my language, but they're doing the things that should actually be considered racist. And people are just turning a blind eye. This is classism at its greatest. Another thing, just, just, just because we're talking about all of this BS that Biden is doing. If you have a company and you cause for that company to get new expenses, expenditures, that company has to offset those expenses expenditures. So that means that they either have to fire people, they can't give raises, or they have to raise the cost of whatever service or product that they're selling. So what the heck are freaking that these people talking about that these people are greedy? If Sony did not exist, do you know how many people would be out of work? If McDonald's did not exist, do you know how many people would be out of work? If Hewlett Packard did not exist, do you know how many people would be out of work? These are the people that you're calling greedy. The people who are creating jobs that's allowing for people who cannot create jobs to have a damn job. Do you understand? If Walmart did not exist, just so just so we could get a real quick grasp of how dire this would be if those companies did not exist there's a walgreens that had got moved i forgot uh what city it was in or, or what town but there was a walgreens that had to move because there was too much rampant uh shoplifting and the shoplifting was so bad that they just couldn't exist anymore um there's a Dwayne reed over here that uh shut down over here in coney island i'm not sure if that's the reason but they had a real bad uh, shoplifting problem over there. Remember, we used to uh, shoot our morning show in front of there sometimes. And quite a few times while we were shooting our morning show, they had to call the police to get shoplifters out of the actual building. So what you don't what people don't understand is these companies need to make money. These companies, if they're not making money, they're going to move their location or they're going to shut down. Now, for that first town i was telling y'all about there was a walgreens there that had to move you want to know what the people in the town decided to do go to the news start protesting now they're mad at walgreens because the walgreens had to move their damn shop because they couldn't make any money in the area and it was just hemorrhaging money i don't understand what people don't understand that companies need to make money in order to keep existing i know that people think that these companies exist to give you jobs these companies exist to give you sales, but in reality, these companies exist to make money. If they cannot make money, why in the heck would they keep their services available for you? Now, these are all done by Joe Biden. Joe Biden also plans to make taxes on corporations go higher. If I heard him correctly, I might not have. I hope I didn't. But if I heard him correctly, he plans on raising more taxes on corporations. So there's going to be more layoffs. You know, YouTube laid off 
an entire freaking state basically like they had an office that was in some state i don't know how many people worked there like 1500 or something like that they just fired everyone because they you know we got new expenses or whatever the reason was i don't even know i think uh, not just for everybody to be clear there also is another situation that's going on in uh corporate america right now where a lot of dei hires are getting fired and the reason why they're getting fired is because the only reason why they were hired was because they might be black or they might be gay or they might be part of some uh um, minority group and that was the only reason why they were hired they weren't hired because they actually knew how to do their job they were just hired so they could meet a metric so this is the world that the democrats are creating a world that everybody gets a trophy and since everybody gets a trophy that makes no one special and if no one's special then there's no real reason to work hard there's no real reason to be exceptional People that are actually exceptional, actually work hard, actually create. There's no motivation. No matter how hard I work, that person over there that don't work at all or as hard as me or have the skill that I have or have the intelligence or the ability, they're going to get the exact same thing that I'm going to get. They're going to get the exact same everything, opportunities, everything, monies, everything. So why should I create the brand new thing that don't nobody know about? Why should I create the new this or the new that? Why should I work hard? Why should I do anything? Because no matter how hard I work, somebody that didn't put in the hours that I put in is going to get everything that I'm going to get. And they might get more. This is the world that the Democrats are creating. This is a destructive place. And it's only being created by people who don't want to compete because they don't have the ability to. Sometimes people don't want to compete with you because it's not worth it. But sometimes people just don't want to compete with you because they know that there's no competition. They are that much better than you or you are that much better than them. The Democrats seem to be looking at the world like the world is so much better than them. So we have to create a system where there is no competition. Where people don't compete. Where we could just decide who's the winner. And decide who's the loser. They've been doing it in music forever. Us people that love music. We've been complaining about it. But they still let the exceptional artists. Not get any 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 airtime, And they still push the people in front of our faces. That they could control. Because that's what it's about. Being able to control. That's why Biden is in office. If you hear the things that Biden says when his mic is hot and he's and he's talking, he's not supposed to be talking. He's not really agreeing with a lot of the things that his administration seemed to be creating. He's done bad mouth Netanyahu multiple times. Recently, I heard he said that he need to go to a Jesus class. So we need a new administration. I'm not saying it got to be Trump. But we cannot do another four years of Biden. I mean, F it. Vote Biden back in the office. God said that he's not coming back to the world again until there's like, it's in total trash. And everything is like, about, that's when God is coming back. So you know what? Vote Democrat. Because the Democrats is trying as hard as they can to make this America unlivable. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I get on this one.